Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 20 of this luxury apartment. Let's get started. So in the previous video, you were able to add all the cars. Um, I added more cars actually. And as you can see, I just copy all of this. So quick way to do this is just just copying like this and then you can put multiple and then just changing the material or the color you will be able to add all of this instantly so I just add it offline so that we could do it uh, do much better and then we could add or we could do we could create um, a more populated um, scene so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of the grass floor and then I'm going to isolate them and then here because we isolated them we'll be able to add vegetation so I'm gonna use vegetation paint go back go to grass and then I'm gonna select long grass select this to increase the density and then after that select this one vegetation paint you can increase the diameter if you want for me this one is more than enough so I'm just going to add this all of this are some of them it's not gonna be shown but I'm still going to add them in case that we show them in a video and it's fairly quickly fairly quick the way we're adding this because we only have a strip of grass floor that we need to add Okay, so now if you see this, this one looks good. Now we need to isolate off. And as you can see, we have those ones added there. And now what we could do is we could add our trees. I don't want to add a big tree right in front of this. It's because I want to showcase the building. So now I'm probably going to add like a strip of this height only. Small ones that we could just add. And then this kind of of trees is the one that we need to add at the back right here something like that and then we have this small ones for this part right here and we can put probably six more and then maybe the last one we could delete and then we could just add another small ones right here And then we also have to add on this side. This side, we could just add something like this. Maybe, maybe put 20 of them all the way there. And then here as well, maybe three more. And 
and then this building we can move it a bit like that this is too near right here so we have some space to look at and then we can pull this back as well and then we could add a tree right here as well maybe one right here and then different kinds right here And then we could add this one. And then you could select this and then so that you could just add something like this beside them instantly. As you can see, it looks really good having those Mungo Pies right there. Mungo Pies. And let's just add more right here just for background in case we have a reflection there you could basically see how that looks And here we could add in some trees. Then put in 10 more all the way there. And just by adding those, it makes a big difference in our scene right here. I want this big ones And then let's not forget this part right here. For background. And then you want to make sure you save it just in case so now or probably one of our um, image is doing like this right here showing you a view here we could change the focal point or focal view something like that and we have this 
showing. So I'm just going to undo that. We're going to do it step by step, um, depending on what are we doing in the building. I'm going to add that one here. And maybe one right here. Exiting here as well. And one more exiting here. So because of that, it looks really good. Um, I would turn on. So let's go to image, not image, sorry, rendering. I'm gonna probably gonna turn on the path tracer. Let's put this one to low first and see how it looks. I'm going to change the the environment to skyline HDRI. And then here we're going to choose a different one. Here we have sky. We have maybe morning and then overcast something like this we could change intensity depending on what we want we have cloudy right here and then we have noon we have something like this right already set up and then here let's see how it looks which is really good. I like the effect. I'm going to put this right here. Maybe this one. Let's see how this one looks first. But I probably will do the noon overcast. This actually is much better. I like that it's um it's blocking this one and this one is blocking the look right there um, so i think i have one of this look right here i'm gonna change the exposure and then here ambient so we have one image like this I'm gonna create an image now but before that I'm gonna change it to high click more camera 
and then I want to change the focal length. I think that looks amazing right there. Okay, so now I'm just going to click that, refresh, and then quit. And then now we could go right here, zoom it. I want a different view now. I'm probably going to add more trees right here maybe six more And then adding this one as well. I just want to have a background there like that. I think that's good enough. Then if we take an image, fix it a little bit. Fix this one, move it a little bit there so that everything is showing properly. Okay, so now click that, change the focal length if you want. I think that's good enough. We don't actually need to change it, but you want to make sure you turn this on under high. So we have our second image, then let's look for another image. We need this kind of background right here. I'm going to add more. In that background also 
although this is too crowded now. Just gonna delete this. Change this color. I haven't seen this color. I'll put page then. And I think this is good for my sec third image. Make sure to put this into high. Fix it a bit. And then make sure to refresh it. Click right here. That's our fourth image that we haven't done yet. So I'll probably go into delete this. I'll move this back a bit I'll move it again at the back I need more room here I could just move, replace this one. I'll probably something like this another image like this and turn this on I want to put the background there like a, a building background so let me go to my new server library and then probably one of this big ones right here. There we go. That looks good looks much better and then I'll create another image Then one more back image like this. There we go. I think that's good enough. And you want to make sure to save it. Uh, 
and let me quickly create video so I'm gonna create a video so I'm gonna click on video right here create So what I want to do is my first shoot is like this going inside round six like this first. This will be another six. I'm going to do this. Aerial view. Something like that. that's good enough we can put it at eight and then like that five going like this Six image like that. Maybe just two seconds. Like this image, two seconds as well. Another going up image, something like this first. Five. Two seconds right here. Entrance right here. And then going out. Four seconds. Going right here. And then out another four seconds and then I think that's good enough and this one make it five or maybe six Okay, and then here we could just 
duplicate this rename this as show real and then this one is shorts and this one we just need to change the format 1000 and then 700 and what you need to do is just review this quickly looks okay and then you just need to save it and then export it make sure every path tracer is on you can see this icon right there and then you just need to start export so thank you for watching and hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below